I've got Mark Glazebrook with me, the inventor of the doy. We're going to talk to Mark about what uh, first gave you the reasons to actually come up with this product. Okay. Well, uh, Tony, it came out of a personal need where my own dog was barking a lot during the day. Mm. Um, and so much so that the neighbours were continuously complaining. Yep. Um, I felt bad about that and uh, tried to do something about it personally. It's uh, complaints, dogs, council. That seems to be the way it goes. No, that's costly. Yeah. I mean, if someone's getting complaints about their dogs, they can get fines, etc. Yeah. So tell me how this can be a benefit, uh, or your product can be a specific benefit and to overcome that. Yeah, well, when dogs bark a lot, people lose sleep. Um, they feel irritated and angry. Yep. They complain to local councils. Um, that sucks up people time at the council, yep. so ratepayers time, but also can result in pretty hefty fines and, and uh, penalties. Yes. Um, so it's not something that's going to go away. Uh, and there's some pretty sophisticated way the councils have got to pin down the amount of barking. So it's not something that people can avoid. Okay, for the viewers out there that have got the dogs and they're making the noises at night, um, tell me, they, firstly, where they get their hands on the product and just tell me sort of the, the process that you went through coming up with this idea firstly yeah. and then you had to get it into fruition, into a product. Yeah. Just briefly give us a rundown on that, please, Mark. Sure. Well, I'm like other people. I went to my local vet and said, look, the, the neighbours are complaining, what can I do? They said, try other toys and, you know, it had some mixed success there, but the complaints kept coming and... Um, I'm a bit of a backyard inventor. My dad was an engineer and I thought, oh, you know, maybe I can turn my hand to this. So I came up with a prototype, tried it for a couple of weeks. The neighbours stopped complaining. I went over and said, what's, what's going on? Sure. And um, they said, we don't know what you're doing, but keep doing it. So that launched me into actually making a professional product and getting on the market. Okay. Now, where can our, where, where can our viewers get their hands on this product? What, what stores are we talking about and, okay. and how, 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 how far spread is this product in the marketplace okay. as we speak? Right. It's now in 100 stores across Australia uh, and it's particularly supplied through the Just for Pets uh, network. So you can go on their website. I've also got a website, uh, doycompany.com, where people can buy it online. So there's a couple of different ways. Have you heard, I would have thought this would save a bit of money for, for our, our viewers out there on like, sort of like dog sitters and taking the dog for a walk during the night because the dog's more content. Sure. Have you found that to be the case? Absolutely. Interestingly, I'm getting feedback um, that a lot of dog trainers are actually buying it for dogs because they're training the, the owner and the dog. But this is a way to keep that sort of sustainability at home. Sure. Well, Mark, thanks for your time. All right, viewers, you do some more interesting information to hopefully save your money and keep your dog more content here at Yuppie Hour. I'm Tony Bolton, and we'll be back shortly with another story. Thank you.